Here we are playing Red Prison, practicing, got ideas up brewing, and we have some Blood Moons to play. What's up, Beanball? I see you too. Three people here. Woo! Raking it in. Oh my gosh, Mad MTG dropping the sub Sunday. No, no, no. It's Monday. And we'll see you for repeat Monday tomorrow. So we've got Blood Moon here, and we have a theory. We have a theory, and today is theory you know theory thursday so theory thursday here <laughs> is if i run enough blood moons we'll win the game so with that theory in mind we're gonna run these sweet new blood moons i got two of them from a nice person that was giving us some blood moons but we also ended up getting two more based on just selling a whole bunch of junk that i uh don't play apparently i had a commander set thing cards and those are apparently worth at least enough to get one more, and then I sold enough things that were like 50 cents to get the other one. You know, but hey, we're not talking about getting those. What we're talking about here is running these Blood Moons to victory. So the theory here is that we are still Blood Moon, still prison, but we are going to go really, really hard on the locking power of what Blood Moon and cards like it do. What's up, Hebe? GB's nine months. You got a name? So, <laughs> got a name, just saying. We have 61 cards here. I talked about maybe running a 62, 61 cards and then showing a drop. I've included all of these in the deck list, but we are going to run 60. So we're gonna drop a card here. What do we wanna do? So the theory here is that I can actually ramp out Blood Sun, Magus of the Moon, or Blood Moon, and probably hinder most cards that are being like the fetch lands i believe i can hinder with blood sun uh, i could hinder field of the dead which has been a problem card for us i could hinder who knows what i can hinder here i guess the tron lands right because those would lose that ability i believe that's correct so we have interesting things that blood sun might impact so we're basically playing six moons plus two blood suns to see what happens. You'll notice a few other things here. We've got two Pia, Kieran, Alars, three season Pyromancers. We have Chandra and Koth currently because I couldn't quite cut one or the other. Some Abraid, Sweltering Suns. You'll also notice that Chandra's made her way into the sideboard as an extra option to bring in. Now, when do we do this? Hmm. Well, theoretically, Here's the other side of this. We have the Blood Moon package, but theoretically the other side that's going on here is there's not perhaps true control out there. What do I mean by true control? Avaros, if you don't watch him, go check out his channel, go check out the Twitch, get that hype train going. Thank you so much, D20. So hype train, here's the hype drop. Control doesn't exist as the traditional control sense right now. What do I mean? Blue-white control is no longer there. It is interactive control. It's Euro or Euro <laughs> control. It is basically more or less big mana ramp, and I'm gonna do some control things to you. So theoretically, my idea here is I actually don't need to lean on Eidolon. I don't need to lean on Rabble Master to win these games. I need to disrupt enough, get the winning piece down, which is Karn, Chandra, Koth, or Tokens, and finish the game. Theory. Theory. We'll see if the theory plays out. I have one card to cut. To me, there's a lot of options here, obviously, to cut. I've actually thought about putting Chalice sideboard, but we're not going to do that. Chinolum, thank you for the sub. Getting us to tier two. What? And here I was going to just record something, you know, just like hanging out with our YouTube folks. And hanging out with YouTube folks is nothing against you, YouTube folks, but we don't interact but through comments. And most of the time, you just want me to win. What's up? Thank you all so much for the subs. Let's get some howls in the chat. Let's lock them out. So I think for me, I want to cut, as silly as it seems, I want to cut like bridge or chalice. That's what I kind of want to do. I don't think that's correct. I'm going to probably cut an abrade here, even though I don't like the idea of that, but I want to have eight moons. I'm thinking the three bridges are important. 
This chalice is, is really tempting me to put it to the sideboard. Hype train, beanball. Get that treasure chest up. Hype chest. Hype frog. Ah, uh, man, I'm going to take a braid out and run into taxes. I, I, I really, I, I've got this weird, weird gut. Ah, uh, chalice to the sideboard. Chandra out. Let's go play magic. Don't look away. Oh my gosh, and there's a raid. So, so much, so much happening here. What's going on? Let's get into red prison and magic. Let's go. Crazy things happening. Thank you so much for the raid, the bits, the subs. Way to kick off Sunday. Happy Sunday. Oh my gosh. What's going on? What's going on? Raid number two, back-to-back -back raids. Biddy's coming in. We're we're in a hype train. We're gonna play eight moon. We got the new moons. We were hype training. Oh my gosh, we're crazy hype training right now. Ooh. Exactly, exactly. Chalice side makes it tutorable with Karn. We've never tried it. Let's do it. What's up, Shark? And basic land shark and uh and tie. Oh, it's not antagonist. Anto Antog jests. What's up, everyone? We're we're jamming the hype train. We're playing crazy red prisons. We're getting seven landers. Who cares? What's up, King Magic? Antog jests. Foreman red. I am gonna try. We can't do it here, even though we would have three mana on turn one. Could be a meme we could do. My opponent's mulliganing. Do we keep the seven lander to just kick it off through the hype train? The absolute madman keeps the seven lander, right? <clears throat> seven lander, gemstones, ditch this. <sighs> Dump the hand. Can't keep, can't keep this, right? It's impossible. Mulligan. Mulligan. Ho oh, ho. All right, this is much better. All right, we're going to keep this. I'm going to get rid of Sweltering Suns because Bridge kind of takes care of um, creatures, possibly. We have the Chalice. We have the Bridge. My opponent's going to five. We're starting magic. They're a Porcupine Parrot. We're hyped. We are hyped. Get your, get, your, get your biddies in to get your emotes. I don't even know what you get on the hype trains anymore. Ooh, all right, calm down. We gotta focus. We gotta practice. We gotta we gotta make proper decisions here. If this is blue white control, we're we're done. We're just concede, end the stream, gonna go crawl in the bed and curl up into a ball and just be done. Just be done. Let's lead with something that doesn't look exactly like Red Prison. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Getting those follows in. We're just jamming it out. 40 seconds left in the hype train. Woo! Get your, get your, ooh, I could have chaliced that. <sighs> Planning to put chalice on one. That's usually where you try to put it. I'm not thinking this desperate riddle, ritual needs to be slammed immediately. Aether spell bomb here. This could be, this could be, hmm. Kind of wondering if I'm supposed to put a chalice on zero now. Aether Spellbomb, Esper Colors. Uh, we could be seeing more Mishra's Bobbles, Mox Ambers. We could see an Emery. I could also attempt to get chalice on two for some some things in the future. Oh my gosh, he be Chibi just keeping this hype train going. Oh, I got an emote. I got Hype Fighter. Look at my little dude. Oh, Evan's gonna be so jealous. I got a knight. All right, I sort of want to put this chalice on two. Wonder if I could hold here and try to get the chalice on two to stop quite a few things that are kind of linked with the cards that I see here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Look at that. What are what are these emotes? Oh, there's a skull with a with a with a sword in its head. You haven't seen the video yet, but did you enjoy the blue-black control list? Yes, and I... By the way, everyone, this is the person that provided the list. Shout-outs to Rohan... Rohan... Osa? 
I'm trying. I'm trying. I wasn't prepared. No, it was fun. It was fun. I, I, not to spoil it, but I do something stupid. Oh gosh, it's Teferi. This is awful. This is awful. What is this? This is control. What's going on? Oh my gosh, we've got three bridges against this control player. All right, let's try to put the chalice on two here. I don't really have too much at two that I need. Let's see if they care enough to bounce it. The problem is this Teferi is going to be constantly bouncing things. Whew. What's up, Casey? Wow, there's a lot of people here already. Look at this night thing we got. Where is... Oh, I hate this. How do I... I don't want to show channel emotes. I want to see my emotes. There we go. Let's find those emotes. Oh, apparently I'm subbed to a bunch of people now. Oh, Monastery Mentor. Look, I have these two from this latest hype stuff. I can defend and more. Man, my opponent's just going to meme me to death here. Monastery Mentor here. Oh, boy. They can bounce my bridges. I'm going to Magus. <laughs> I'm going to Magus just to shut down maybe some mana here. This Teferi will probably bounce the Magus. We have to clear our hands somehow to get some bridges out. This t deck just top forward the, the meta. The, the, the meta. Top forward the meta. Top forward the challenge. Well. We'll see how we do. Happy Sunday and have a great rest of your stream. Crush them and show no mercy. Like Cobra Kai. We'll try. We'll try. We've shut our opponent off of white and double black and triple blue right now. Easily undone with a Teferi. Planning not to block right now. Monastery Mentor could hurt us. Bridges are looking good. By the way, we have all three bridges from our main deck in the top ten cards. Pretty, pretty nice, right? Pretty nice. Don't need Karn. That's just silly. Putting the Chalice on two makes it a little awkward with some of my liquid metal coatings and other things, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Bounces to Fairy with the, or sorry, bounces with the Aether, Aether Spell Bomb here. Wonder if they have a counter. If they don't, Chandra kill this. It's pretty, pretty reasonable. Bridge isn't bad. Yeah, I'm thinking bridge isn't bad. I think this is my shot to go ahead and try to kill the Mentor. Let's see if they have the counter spell as their last card. Didn't draw with Teferi. Bounced with this, so... Let's see if I can kill the Mentor here. I don't see this, uh... I don't see this, uh, living here. This feels like a correct line here. If they have an opt or something, they could get a token and kill. But I'm pretty happy to trade... Uh, Chandra for the mentor and just have them have a prowessing token. I'd be super, super ecstatic to see that. And if this, oh, they have a repeal. Excellent. Nice. All right. This is fine too. <clears throat> this is fine too. I can reset the chalice onto something else. There goes this mentor. That's good. I'm happy with this trade. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty pumped about that trade. Looking to probably put Chalice on one now. Oh, my, mentor, mentor in uh, in um, mentor in modern's really good to see. I agree with you. Bridges will get better in multiples as long as they don't have something like an Echoing Truth. Um, yeah, we'll we'll have to get there. It's very went up. They're gonna shoot Chandra here. That's fine. Kind of need like a land, actually, of all things to be asking for. I think a land would do. Oh, she's not bad. Piakir Nalar, the mom and pop here is not too bad either. I could throw Chalice onto zero. They do have things that are coming out on zero. Albeit, they probably have stuff on one as well. How do I empty the hand the best here? Probably try to play the four drop into the counter spell. If it's just removal, fine. If it's a counter spell, fine. 
I don't foresee myself putting Chalice on zero, but maybe I do just as like, I can throw this now. And it's gonna stop some future bobbles. It's not the strongest Chalice here, but I don't think one's gonna do me a lot of good either. If they're playing push or path, um, I'll actually take a path now because I need some more some more lands. That's what I'm thinking. The Chalice on zero is probably an okay plan. It's probably okay. It's it's like against more control lists anyway. This Chalice, I might be cutting when I go to sideboard here. I might be cutting them. I might bring like a Walking Blist in, some Kozlix returns. This Chandra is probably gonna come in. Cut the Chalice and something else. We'll see. These Thopters also threaten to ferry, making our bridges slightly better. Not to mention our Magus is pretty decent at some point, because my opponent's got a bit of a uh, non-basic land base. Woo! Tassaker. 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 This is a tough matchup to run into first. We have a Thopter that is bounced. I suppose bounce something, right? If you're going to go down here. Thought Scour is a good reason to put a Chalice on one. We'll see how many one drops we run into. A couple lands there. Two two Proust Monk here. We have the Thopter that can come in. We have an extra island. New to Fairy. That makes sense now. Finally, someone plays Tassiger. Did you see what we recently played? Bounces other Thopter. This is totally fine. They think they're good here. What I'm probably going to do is just take the turn to throw the Chalice at the Teferi. Because honestly, I could play the bridge here too if I hit a land. Ooh, I hit a Season Pyromancer. One, two, three. In. Could play probably Magus. Hmm. You saw the Grave grave Titan? <laughs> yeah, the creator of the list is was in the chat, if they're still here. <sighs> what matters here the most? Blockers? Stopping the mana base a little bit? Maybe this season Pyromancer's like after a few more things being cast. I'm at 15. I've got lots of time here. It does. Red Prison is a thing. We're kind of like red, you know, silver or brown, depending on when you join magic. Artifact. Hmm. How bad is this Teferi going to be in the future? If I throw down a bridge right now, I'm probably chump blocking. It might be okay to do Season Pyromancer, draw some cards here. Might be okay to Blood Moon as well, shutting them off some blue mana. What do they do, just repeal this again? Worried about this Teferi, but I guess I could wait a turn. This is active. If they use this, right now they get a Thought Scour. Yeah, the new Chalice is going to be sweet. I'm wondering how much white matters. I guess I'm afraid of another Mentor. Because I'm afraid of another Mentor, let's go ahead and play Magus down in past turn. <clears throat> Trying to think of anything and everything that could be a bother to me. This this will work. It's not crazy powerful, but... It's in, impacting their land base. If I need to take, if they don't really do much this turn, I could take the turn to throw Chalice at Teferi. I'm afraid of a bigger Teferi. I'm afraid of a Monastery Mentor. Um, not afraid of Tassiger. Not really sure. Maybe maybe they play Cryptic. So shut that off. There are two wolves inside me. There are two wolves inside. Unearth Mentor. Well, hell, you know, that was a thing. All right, Chalice on one's looking a lot stronger than the zero. We obviously ran it out. Oh, oh Mox Amber. All right, Chalice on zero doing its thing. Glad I didn't throw it just yet. 
All right, some prowess stuff. Not worried yet. Tax with Tasker and this. I think I have to just take all this damage here. Kind of hope for the best. The Simeon Spirit Guide. One, two, three. Let's go for a land here. I'm, I'm going to only play one land down. Or sorry, one bridge down. But this will give me two more blockers, which looks important. Do hit the land. I can now throw the chalice. So let's throw the chalice here. I could throw the chalice at the mentor. That has a risk of not working. Let's throw here chalice, because I think chalice is pretty dead. And now we'll just pass the turn with everything uh, as blockers. Have time to put potentially bridge and blood moon down next. All right, we're trying to lock them out. That's what we're doing. That is what we're doing. What am I looking for? Koth, Karn, another Pia Kirin. Not immediately. I need land and then some of those. Let's see what else they've got. Activates Tassiger. I can give you. I can give you a lot of interesting things. What if I gave you an Unearth? I don't want to give them necessarily the Mox Ambers. I could also give them a Thought Scour. They can't even use Thought Scour right now. Let's let's give them the Thought Scour. Here. There you go. Have that blue card. What's up, Uncle DB? <laughs> you have you have this image of Pia Kieran. They're in the they're in the the throne room in here, right? And Teferi's a, a guard and they want to go see uh, King King Tassiger. This is an easy block. <clears throat> and because they want to see King Tassiger, they throw something here, right? That's what they're doing. Ritual off the top was super nice. We'll start with Bridge, because if it gets mana leak, that's a problem. We'll slam our Blood Moon and pass. All right, opponent, we've got you semi-locked out. We're looking for Karn, Kaf, Piakir, and Alar. Looking for those things. I'll take a Season Pyromancer too right now. Thought scours, T -t -t triggers. <laughs> always yield to this, always yield to this, always yield to this. Pretty sure I'll yield to all that. Let's see what they get. Spell Sky, Unearth, and an extra Thought Scour. Pia Kieran Espresso commercial. <laughs> I mean, look at this chalice. We threw we threw a Fabergé egg. That's what we did. Tapping mana in a way that repeal. Oh no, engineered explosives. Well, I didn't get Karn fast enough. Uh-oh. This is, this isn't good. This is real bad. Pop this, everything goes away. I keep one, two blockers. They have three, one, two, three attackers here. I know I can't top deck a bridge because we've only got three in the deck. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm afraid of them prowessing here. I don't have an out, I don't think. I have a Sweltering Suns. Never mind. I have a Sweltering Suns and then I take four. Oh, you're a turn late, Karn. You're not invited to the party. Go away. Go away. A literal turn late. A literal turn late. You've played against it in four league four times in two leagues? Well, we're just gonna have to fix that. Alright, so I'm looking at Chandra Kozlik's return walking ballista. I have my Karns here. Sweltering Sun looks okay, bridge is fine. Magus of the Moon is probably okay. Blood Sun is a little, heh. One Chalice, because I talked about doing that. And I'm 
kind of leaning towards one abrade. Obviously, my opponent's got got some stuff that they can, uh, you know, pump out creatures and stuff. Kind of liking this. A lot of cards to go get bridge. I didn't see any counter spells, so my opponent's not seeming to do that. I've got the six blood moons. I don't think I want to try the blood sun. Unless I can be convinced that that's better than maybe two chalices. Better than two chalices. Let's think here briefly. I saw Thought Scour, Spell Bomb. I saw Amber, Bobble, Unearth. Let's do... Uh, let's keep the two chalices. I'm like sitting here going, maybe I just keep Blood Sun, one Blood Sun, one Graft Digger's Cage and take the two chalices out, but I kind of like this. Maybe Walking Blist is too cute here. Let's bring a Blood Sun back in and let's run it. <clears throat> uh, Spyglass will be um, taken off of a Karn more than likely. <sighs> I'm more, more inclined to grab it off Karn than I am to bring it as a one of. I can beat Teferi many ways. Deck looked to be blue black with splashing white for Mentor and Teferi. So those blue and black will be what they get predominantly first, is my guess. You have to remember we have a lot of uh, Blood Moon style effects. One lander here, no keep because of uh, being on the play. All right. This this kind of interesting me interests me. Kind of interests me. I like the bridge. I like the blood moon. I could ditch the blood sun, take two lands. Ritual effect gets this out faster. Don't particularly like that I have two four drops here. If I think Karn's better, I could ship Pia Kiernalar and use blood sun as a cantrip as well. Kind of interesting option here. My opponent kept all seven. I feel like I could do better than this, but it's really hard to go down further. I'm going to keep this and I'm going to get rid of, um, I'm going to get rid of the blood sun. Mull to five. No, something's telling me that this will be okay. Like, not super great, but I didn't see counter spells, so if I can knock them off a of color here with the Blood Moon, I'll be really happy. Hit the turn one moon, it's not always plausible to do that. Shocking in, so Thought sees something we didn't really see. It'll take the Blood Moon. Goodbye, Blood Moon. To the bin. Here, you can sit in their bin for a while. Yeah, you don't you don't mulligan to a turn one moon. You can hit a turn one moon, but normally you're trying to get it out on turn two. Turn three is slow, but it's not it's not probably worth worth it. Here here they sh yeah okay I was gonna say take the blood moon. We were gonna hit turn two, so good on them. I don't think I'm gonna slam a bridge out here because I could just lead up to Karn. Karn going and getting something could be just like devastating to them. So we'll risk it a little bit here. Not to mention if I draw a Blood Moon, I want to be able to play it. So we had that turn two Blood Moon and my opponent does not have the right mana to get around it. Could have had him. Could have had him. A little surprised to see no fetch land to go get a basic. But hey, but hey, all right. So we have Karn the Great Creator here. Probably want to just jam that. Go get Liquid Metal Coating and, and try to win from there. I I get to shut down some of these artifacts. I don't expect them to have a counter spell. They just seem to be a little more on the cantrips and hand disruption and go wide board. We get we get a force though or something. Spell bomb to draw makes sense. Okay, here I, I'm really tempted to, and I think it's correct to go get a liquid metal coating here. The Mox Amber, I'm not too worried about. 
Obviously, they could steal this away. I can still get it later because I have a Tormod's Crypt that can go eat my graveyard. If they do happen to get rid of this liquid metal coating with a Thought Seize here, then they're not getting a three drop, which is perhaps an okay trade off. I can follow it up with Spyglass and get it on the Teferi if I want. We'll see if they have their next source here. Remember, they might have been trying to get to something like a Tassiger and get Mox Amber online. Could have been trying to get to Emery, which they still could play right now. But if they're playing just Emery here, I get to play Little Metal and take them off a of color. I'll probably take them off blue first. Flooded Strand. All right, so they have three mana. Got Teferi. This is where Blood Sun would be kind of fun, right? Right? I'm thinking about that card correctly, I think. Saying all these things. It's probably incorrect. Fetch is basic. There's Teferi. They should down tick this. If they go up here, it's probably Spyglass. Shut this off. Land, please. No lands. No land. So do I want to kill a land or do I want to... I can take them completely off blue here. Very interesting line. I really, really want to go get the Spyglass because all they're going to do is get to, to bounce this. Or if I take one turn here, it's not great. I need to hit that land. Hmm. Hmm. Spyglass is really tempting right now, but taking them off blue is pretty, pretty fun too. I could shut the Teferi off upkeep, I could. I think I like coding and killing a land if they bounce to fairy to kind of try to find a land. Then if it gives me an extra turn here on the sweltering sun. And then I have Karn at four, which is a little bit nicer. I guess let's just see if this even sticks. I like liquid metal coating getting getting them off blue here. Something tells me this is the more correct play. Understanding that yeah, they get a bounce here, but I've just now knocked them back on a land And if they just like play another land that's not blue, I just let go metal coating again This will be at two. They'll still have to go up before this bounces and then I'll hit a double land You have money on the fourth land. Oh, I'm sure it's there I'm sure it's there, but this is buying me a turn here that maybe I get lucky and, and they don't play a mentor down immediately bounces liquid metal coating did they find their land? That is the question. Remember, they haven't really cantripped at all, and we've shut them off blue. All right, so I'm looking for land for Sweltering Sun because I think it's Mentor. Great card. All right. <clears throat> We're going to slam Liquid Metal Coating again. Love that card. Thanks. Thanks. Oops. <laughs> they put oops. <laughs> Love you, man. You did it. <laughs> uh, let's just slam liquid metal coating again. I expect that we're good here. Let's just take off a land one more time. I'm thinking that this is probably not getting unlocked here. So let's take the lands, take our advantage and go with it. Take the lands, take the advantage and let's go. These static abilities, I don't fault my opponent. Static abilities are rough. I'm just going to eat lands now. Ooh, Polluted Delta. Play Magic. Ooh, we have an Abrade now. Interesting. Ugh. It is pretty hard to beat. I can Liquid Metal Coating the Teferi here and get rid of it. Just, just end it and then like Karn on the engineered explosives or something. 
Like, this is a really tempting thing to do. Again, I don't think they're playing that many counters. Hmm. Kind of gets rid of Teferi, and then I don't even need to go get the Spyglass anytime soon. You like the planes? If I were going to take something, I'd take Silent Clearing. Von Sierto. Sier Sierto? There is no Oto. Thank you. Thank you for the Prime sub. I'm really tempted to just try to kill Teferi here, but I guess another land here and then force this balance is probably not bad. Let's take one more land. Cast a spell first. No, 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 no. We, we do this activation here. Let's see if they want to just cantrip this land. So if they cantrip the land here, now I can do something different with Karn. Like, I can go get Spyglass now. So we make them cantrip, now I go get Spyglass and I try to shut off the Teferi. <clears throat> and if this sticks, <laughs> I might shut off Polluted Delta for funsies. Oh my gosh, I should. We have an Aether Gust, Fatal Push, Island, and a Spell Queller. Oh my gosh, should I just shut off the Polluted Delta here? Make them use Teferi now? <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter here. We'll just name Teferi. The Polluted Delta is a, a meme. The Polluted Delta would be hilarious, but let's 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 be smart about this. Name Delta 100%? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. We're just going to kill a land next turn anyway. We have all this shut off, and the most they're going to do is put a Spell Queller into play. I have the Abrade for that. As much as I want to, and making them use the Teferi, it's an extra draw. Let's let's keep it so that we know most of the cards. And everyone's like, Delta? All you people just want to see the world burn. This, this does enough here. <laughs> this does enough. We're doing everything on two lands, too. All right, Polluted Delta, what else we got to do here? Like a Detention Sphere would be awful. Basic, basic, basic. Spell Queller. All right, that's what they're doing. Uh, blue and black here. We're going to take the blue card. And we'll uh, smack this with the Abrade. Just prison things. Let's destroy this. There we go. <clears throat> Only thing that gets them out of there is a force. One card that they've drawn, and I haven't seen, again, too many counter spells. It's good to know about Aether Gust. Let's keep that in mind. On two for Chalice would be important. There's our land, finally. Thinking I want this Blood Sun back in may also want the Abrade, based on a couple things that I saw there. Wondering if the Chalice is just fetchable off Karn, and that makes it, like, enough. I like my Sweltering Suns here. I don't actually like Kha'Zix's Return as much. I guess it's a good way to get rid of the tokens if they get a lot. So there's, like, that. We have a Torp Orb, which wouldn't be bad, but Torp Orb hoses probably more of our stuff. What's our opponent doing? Let's see here. We have Spell Queller, Blue White, Teferi, Blue White. We have Fatal Push, Black, Thoughtseize, Black, and we have Tassiger, Black. Opponent's going to have to get multiple things. Blood Sun's probably just better to have here. And let's bring this Abrade in. I'm going to keep Kha'Zix's return. We're going to fetch Chalice off of Karn if we need to. Not going to bring Torp Orb in. I'm not afraid of a Spell Queller. <clears throat> it is a Sweet Blood Moon art. We finally got the new the new art. Look, it's gonna. Oh, whew. thought it was gonna be stuck there. All right, uh, Karn was good. Here we go again, where we don't have turn one, turn two, or really. All right, so let's talk about the differences between the last hand of seven and this hand. Last hand had Blood Moon. Um, it had the Piacuran and the Karn, but it also had the Bridge. Now, this one can draw a lot but it doesn't really have the either side of the lock. The other thing was we at least mulled once. This feels like this could be just a mulligan hand just because the blood soon is one of the weaker moon effects that we have. 
And so I don't want to just play this and just cantrip. These are this too much cantrip. Need more need more power. All right, this this could do. We'll keep this. Get rid of this. <clears throat> Play one gemstone out. We basically get to abrade something or we get to uh, blood moon them pretty quick. It's at least a better hand. My opponent's mulligan to five as well, which isn't great for them. Gets us to three mana, which is kind of the key, key, key location in our converted mana cost curve. <clears throat> play one, don't play the other, please. Then exile. If you play both, and then you come back and go fluffy, this card's bad. I'm going to say, who are you? Bobble, Watery Grave, three cards. Draws four, up to five on their draw step. Looking for Ritual. All right. We got two Blood Moon effects here. Looking pretty strong. Looking pretty strong. We do know they have potentially Aether Gust. <clears throat> they they did not mull to Hand Disruption, which is interesting. They didn't mull to a Fetch Land for Basics. Little little surprised on either one of those. I hope they have a land, because if not, this game's going to be pretty donezo. <clears throat> what do we got? All right, we have basic island. That's good. Ah, we have this card. <laughs> we have this one. This is a fun one. All right, so here I think I'm going to lead with blood. Let's do... You know what? Let's do Magus first. We're going to do Magus, even though it can be bounced by their little Aether, Aether card here. Um, I'm not worried about this necessarily. Whenever they cast the fourth spell on their turn, they have exactly four cards. So I, I have an opportunity to kill this. I'm not rushing to kill this. They would have to have four, basically, Bobble, Amber, Pyrite, and and um, Repeal or something. It, it would be kind of crazy to get this to flip. I love this, though. I love this art and everything. Whenever an opponent casts their first spell each turn, counter that spell. And that's powerful, but not that scary for us, if I'm very honest. All right, we do have some basics here. It looks like we've got Mentor. It looks like a great abrade a target. We'll probably abrade the Mentor because it could kill us. Again, not really worried about this. Really sweet card, but not worried about it. Flying gets over the top. All right, we do hit our lands. I still think it's a braid. The mentor opponent's at two cards here. No threat of this flipping. Plenty of time to play magic. It does, doesn't it, Zale? It does with the mentor and then the 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 enchantment flip enchantment. Definitely some cool things going on for our opponent. There's that spell bomb, so they could bounce this. Not, not, I'm not. That's what they're doing versus drawing. Thought sees it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Here you go. You want that one or do you want this one? Whichever one you want. I'll play the other one. Take the Magus so I can put cool, pretty art into play. They took, they took Karn. They took Karn. They took the Karn from us. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's put Pretty Art into play. <laughs> Go ahead, opponent. I don't think a 1-1 Flyer is going to beat us. That being said, they have everything but black. And I did say a lot of their deck is blue and white. Ooh, Mentor. All right, Sweltering Sun's off the top right here. Not quite, not quite. Let's go ahead and put Simeon Spirit Guide down and pass. All right, this could get out of hand pretty rapidly. All right, they don't have a castable card here.
You know what? It is more correct to attack first. Let's play correct magic tonight. Plenty of time, as we said. And earlier we played Simeon Spirit Guide versus Magus because I was calling for Soil Terrain Suns. Goodbye, board state. Hello, School of Water's Edge. We're getting there. Ooh, ooh. We're casting, we're casting that engineered explosives. Nice. All right. Well, guess we have to hold Magus here because we don't want to lose it to engineered explosives. We'll take our time. We'll see when they want black mana again. Looking for a Karn, the greatest of creators. Not a whole lot for us to do back and forth here. Uh huh, Teferi. Just bounce the Blood Moon. <clears throat> I'm undoing my auto yields here because I may pop Scavenger Grounds. Does bounce Blood Moon. Draws a card. Plays a land. Can get another island if they want. And a Thought Seize. All right, this is looking pretty good for them. They'll take Magus or Blood Moon here. I don't believe there's a reason to pop the Scavenger Grounds. Let's see here, one, two, three, four, one, two. I could pop this. If I pop it, I could still Ritual out. Yeah, let's go ahead and pop this, but I'm gonna use a Ramunot. Oh, she's a good draw. One, two, three, four. Chandra. I'm not afraid of a whole lot of things, but I'm gonna go up to put Moon out and just pass the turn here. This way I have a lot of mana. They're gonna go get another basic as well. This way I have a lot of mana for next turn when I'm gonna have the draw plus an uptick here. I'm feeling feeling confident on this. Ooh, yes. Let's go. Let's play that card. Karn, the great creator. This is now shut off. Let's go get that liquid metal coating once again. Where are you at, liquid metal coating? Where are you at? There's so many cards here. Liquid Metal. Stop on my opponent's upkeep. Getting the GG's, getting the full lock, getting the Blood Moon, the victories. Thank you, Karn. Thank you, Chandra. We're gonna shut off planes at upkeep. They're telling us they like to see Red Prison doing well. Not many like to see that. Notice that the people that play this deck tend to run out of time quite often. Also wonder if the version plays Jace in a side. I don't know. I don't know. I'm actually pretty happy to see this Esper list. I think we have a good game against it. Teferi's a bit of a problem for bridges, but we have bridges and we have wrath type effects that are usually small enough to deal with uh, what they're doing. A lot of cantrips, so Chalice is reasonable as well. Although, as you're seeing here, we pulled all four out. That's a W and a good start. Let's continue. Plus a great showcasing of Blood Moon effects still being relevant in 2020 Modern. Let's go. Let's keep it rolling. Match one complete. Feeling good. Feeling good. I even got to bring in an extra Chandra. What a weird place to be at when you're bringing in Chandra. A little punt from my opponent. They won't make that punt again against Karn. They have learned today. Wow. One, two, three. Okay. Well, I guess it's just Chalice on one and see if it's effective. We'll keep. I guess. I guess. Usually Chalice and One's pretty powerful against a lot of lists, so let's make it happen. 
My opponent mulligans to six. Not good for them. Great for us. But do we like to see that? No. We would prefer to see an even game. Gonna get to play Pia Kieran ahead of Curve on three as well, putting four power into the board. This should stop my opponent briefly. Bloodstained Mire, you can't steal this. Scavenger Grounds plus Raminaut Ruins is great in case they do have something that goes to the graveyard. Looking pretty good to get this uh, Pia Kieran Alar down. If I do top deck the Chandra or the Koth, I will do that instead. Basic Swamp for our opponent. Rakdos mid-range? Kind of feels like that. Best deck in modern. We're trying. We're trying. We have some ideas. Gotta, gotta lock down these field decks that are all out there. No more. You don't deserve to get all those zombie tokens. Only Grave Titan deserves that. Alright, we're doing something here at 2 mana. We got like a Scourge. Doesn't work right now. Got a... What do we got? Croxa? Channeler. Alright. That's a good one. That's a good one. So yeah, definitely a Rakdos mid-range. Wow, another one. Okay, so let's just get here ahead of schedule. Be a Kieran Alar. Go ahead, opponent. It is the real Sun and Moon deck. There you go, Zale. <laughs> it's not called Red Prison anymore. It's real Sun and Moon. <laughs> and it's just our Sun and Moon, which stands for either Red Sun and Moon or Real Sun and Moon. Channeler here activating, getting two cards here. Two lands, they've already played a land. Try to use this before playing your land. Uh, we've done that a few times, and my opponent does do this as well. K Command's a little bit of a frightening card, and Rakdos Midrange does play it. We'll have to see if they're playing it here. If not, we're bashing in. Going to play an extra Scavenger Grounds here just to have more things to keep this in check so it doesn't become a 4-4. Four, four. Let's attack for a decent 4, putting them to 12, and pass the turn. Maybe not. We'll see what they want to do here. Like I said, K-Command's a little rough here. Ooh, basic planes. Murder's Rider? If it's Kaya's Guile... Sacks a creature, create a 1-1. One, one. All right, I'll just sacrifice the Thopter. Looks like we're trading Thopters. Gotta, gotta, gotta keep the mom and pop around. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and allow this to just trade here. All right, 13, this is two. We'll just leave up a few scavenger grounds. Or really just one. Chalice probably doing what it needs. Thought sees pitched here. We get a Dreadbore and an Inquisition. Dreadbore can use on Pia and Kira Nalar. Pretty good here. This will put the fourth land in here, so we'll go ahead and pop a Scavenger Grounds as well. Allow this to resolve. We got Swamp Plains here. Let's go ahead and pop one of these. I'm tempted to pop it off the Raminaut Ruins, but the Raminaut Ruins could also get us a little bit of damage here. Let's just take the Scavenger Grounds itself, so I have the option of either one of these in the future. Cool. A little Sweltering Suns here is probably not terrible. Trying to think what else they might play here where I would want to hold this for a turn. This needs four, and they can't easily take something from me. I'm going to be greedy here. Maybe I shouldn't be greedy. This digs them further. Let's be greedy. Go with your first impulse. First impulse is to be greedy. They cycle and unearth. All right. We play all three of the Nalars. How cute. Uh, we don't play the, the Pia Nalar, right? There's just Pia at some point as well. 
That's right, Uncle DB. Take that note down. Go with your first intuition. It'll be fine. I'll be right back. Croxa, huh? Croxa, huh? This doesn't bother me too much. All right, we'll just ditch the land here. We'll keep our sweltering sun for right now. Might get a little bit of a discard here. Looks like we're not using that immediately. Oh, we're getting in. We're getting in. All right, all right. Um... One, two, let's see what else they do here. Oh, rewarded. Absolutely rewarded. Go get a, go get a, oof, oof. Batter skull, okay, partially rewarded. So here, I think I want to pop this. Let's think here. So one, two, three, batter skull and some other cards. They don't have double red. I can probably wait to see if I hit a four drop. Not that I'll play the four drop. All right, cast the sweltering suns here. We do put ourselves at a little bit of a disadvantage that Croxa could show up here. We have one, two, three cards right now. We have Batter Skull and an unknown card in my opponent's hand. We can get rid of their exile. They're not discarding anymore with Channeler either, so maybe we get lucky. Ooh, sword. Oh, that's why they didn't get the other one. All right, I think we're in the clear here for Season Pyromancer. Short of Chandra Karn. Land? Let's do it this way. We're going to do it this way because if we happen to draw Simeon Spirit Guide, we'll have this unlocked. <clears throat> See, he's in Pyromancer here. Draw two. Let's get ahead of our opponent. All right. Looks good here. I like the cards that I see. Definitely considering a Karn next. Hoping that they don't get the batter skull down. <laughs> we might not even have to worry about Crocs in our future. All right, they have double red now. A little bit dangerous. Land draw. It's a Chandra. Chandra. We have batter skull. I could Chandra uptick, not Blood Sun necessarily, but just Scavenger Grounds. If I do that, I clear the, the risky Croxa here. Batter Skull, an unknown card, and then Chandra can kill the Batter Skull. Killing the Batter Skull and then playing Karn right after seems like a nice set of lines here. Let's go ahead and attack. A little afraid of a Scourge, but we've got now Karn for Bridge. Things are coming together. You like Karn? Why not just do this to set up even more amazingness next turn? Ch Chandra's gonna kill this Batter Skull next turn anyway. What? This this line just seems so much better. I can use Scavenger Grounds to clear. I could have used Karn, but because they are red, who knows, you know, K Command, then Bolt? That'd be awful. I like this line setting up Chandra so that I can play Karn down and then play like Liquid Metal Coating if I wanted to, or we'll just shoot this and have Karn in play next. Super, super nice. Then these both don't get activated here and they don't have any way to throw this to hand. So easy kill here. Slap down Karn. Probably okay to go ahead and pick up something here. Kind of want to just go get a chalice. Let's go get a worm coil engine. <laughs> let's let's think about getting a chalice. No, worm coil engine. 
Maybe liquid metal coating. I don't know what I'm doing. Attack. Just kidding. They might have a hasty threat. Pass turn. Good luck, opponent. We know what we're doing. They done. They're done with us. They're done. All right, Rakdos mid-range splashing white for Stoneforge Mystic. Splashing white for Stoneforge Mystic. Maybe even Skyclave Apparition. So, Blood Suns are going to come out this game. They don't impact the board that much. I like Chandra Kozlik's returns as options. I do like the idea of Torp Orb. I don't like it a lot. Have to decide if I care to maybe drop a couple Pia Kira Nalars this game or not. Let's see here. What's probably not very good in this matchup either is Koth. I don't want to expose lands to being killed by something like Fatal Push or Kaya's Guile. Tell Tube Man to stop influencing your options. Tube, Tube Man has been evicted. He, uh, he stole all your money and didn't pay the rent. So he got evicted. His notice was two days before the end of the month because Fluffy Wolf 2, we work in twos. And uh, yeah, poof. I feel like Magus of the Moon could come out here if I wanted to bring in one Torp Orb. I like the idea of messing with their mana though. This matchup might be worth actually bringing in the extra Chalice. So bring in the Chalice here, drop one Magus here, Blood Suns and Koth out, Kozlik, Chandra, and Chalice. The reason for bringing Kozlik in would be to kill, to kill Stoneforge Mystic. So maybe that's not worth like Magus or just like a Walking Ballista. Maybe this is the Torp Orb. Maybe I shouldn't be shy about this and just play the Torp Orb, even though it nombos with Pia Kira Nalar and and Season Pyromancer. I don't know. I, I think I... Mm, I think I like Kozlik's Return. Gosh. I want to play two of these. I'm so worried about the token possibility. With white, I'm thinking Lingering Souls. We saw Kai's Guile. This is probably just better than the Magus, right? <clears throat> Let's go. Probably just slightly better. All right, expecting turn one thought sees from our opponent. We'll keep this open in hand. It has the removal we need. It's got the chalice if we get that as well. And got a bridge. Pretty happy with this. Expecting bolts, Kaya's Guiles, Magnetic Channelers, maybe a braid, gate commands. The works from my opponent. Marsh Flats, fetching basic swamp, thought seas. Well, they're not afraid of Blood Moon. Got the Thoughtseize, though. Torporb can turn against you with Croxa. Uh, I'm not worried about that side of it. I would rather them have a 6-6. Six, six. That's the least of my worries. We play Bridges. Croxa's not a real card. It's fine. <laughs> Look at that. They take the Bridge. That's what they're afraid of. That is what they're afraid of. Let's go for this chalice after the blood moon. I'm going to try to snag a blood moon here to get them off black. Oh my gosh, opponent, you didn't... Oh my gosh, please play magic. Oh my gosh, you're dead. You're dead. We'll play blood moon here. That should lock them out of the game for the most part. I'll get tokens down soon. If I miss here, chalice on one. Opponent kept the one lander here trying to steal something away from me with Thoughtseize. And did not succeed. Oh no, opponent. Oh no. I'm going the full distance. We're just going to go kill him. Why wait? My opponent stumbled a few times here and I'm expecting the next land to be a mountain. I don't need the abrade and the chalice. Let's hit this land. Let's get Pia Kira and Alara in. Let's finish the game. Done. We were going to draw a land in Chandra. This game was over. Follow-up card after that was a ritual as well. Woo! Smashed them. Get out of here. 2-0. -oh. 
opponent kept a turn one la one lantern and, and gave me the chalice. That's true too. I could have just slammed chalice right there. Then what? They must have had uh, they must have had some really good two drops. I, I guess. I guess I don't know. Let's play first. No lander here. You do not count. I know you want to. All right. We can get rid of the blood sun. Now the big the big think question here is what is better, chalice or blood moon? We talked about glorifying this blood moon with a turn one. Let's do it. No force. Let's play. Got that chalice to follow up. Don't be a red deck, please, opponent. Are we done? Are we done? Do you want to show me anything? That's what you wanted. Ah, basic planes. No, give her. Opponent next leveled us. Should have played that chalice. Uh oh, Heliod combo here probably. We're in trouble. Death and taxes, could be. Could be, could be a lot of things. Thalia, oh no. Oh no, attack me with the giver. Oh no. Guess I should have led with Season Pyromancer. Well, Skyclave Apparition's slightly turned off right now. And um, yeah, we need some lands. Yeah, we're in trouble. <laughs> we're in a lot of trouble. I need running lands here. I really need them and I need them fast. We'll be playing Season Pyromancer first. Don't need Chalice. We have plenty of life. We'll see where this takes us though. Maybe they're black, white death and taxes. Oh. All right. Oh, hitting me for two. Oh, ouch. Ow. Ow. Oh no, that's in the air. Oh no, we're getting wrecked. Okay, so uh, I might throw Chalice to zero here because we might need to try to find Bridge. Oh gosh, stop playing things. There's a, oh no. <laughs> All right, I think we can beat this this list though. I'm, I'm feeling confident. Haven't seen Red White Taxes in a while? Yeah, it's a strange one. Strange. Show me the land. What are, we, what are we doing? Oh my gosh. We're just conceding because they went and got Sword of Fire and Ice. They put that in. They can protect anything and get this attached. I drew in a braid. I need more because of Thalia. I was not going to draw land for one, two, two more turns. Two, four. Maybe this equip, maybe not, but that's four. Follow up turn six, seven, eight. That puts me to 12 with the ability to play Season Pyromancer. Not good. Not good. All right. This is why Kha'Zix's Return is here, though. And this is also why the Torp Orbs are in. All right. <clears throat> yeah, land's not going to matter there. Land really isn't going to matter. All right, so Blood Sun's kind of interesting. I'm going to take that out. We have Blood Moon and Magus. Going to keep those. I like my Sweltering Suns. I do like my Chalices here. I think I'm going to take a Pia Kirin Alar out. Koth is actually reasonable, and the reason I'm bringing this to Red Prison right now as well. I think here I probably just take out like a Season Pyromancer, possibly. Because having some creatures in the air would be nice. Again, it does non-bow a little bit with the Torp Orb I'm bringing in. But we're going to just accept that potential fate. Spyglass can come in here as well. Let's see. What else do I want to take out? Probably, we could probably just take the Pia Kirin Alar out. Let's think about this. We can only cast one spell turn per turn. That's true. That's true. Actually, let's bring Season Pyromancer back in. Let's take out a Ritual. Even though I'm on the play, Thalia and Rituals and that Archon is a problem. 
Sometimes you can switch that up. Karn's not getting as much here. It does stop Aether Vial. I'm going to swap one Karn for one extra Chandra, and we'll run it. Could bring a Walking Ballista in, but I'm going to leave those in the sideboard as a win condition. All right. Well, it's turn two Karn, or turn one Blood Moon again. Really tempted to do a turn one Karn. Or sorry, turn two Karn. I have the Abrade as well. I'm going to keep it. I don't have a Torp Orb in the sideboard. I brought them all in. All right, I'm going to go for turn two Karn here because Blood Moon, albeit a decent card, I don't think it matters that much. All right. It's a solid follow-up, too. If I had a land here, we're going to be in great shape. Gosh, if I hit that land, we're going to be so good. Let's go ahead and put Karn down, down tick, and go get something. I have at least the Abrade. I'm a little bit of afraid of a Thalia. Let's go ahead and go down here for Liquid Metal Coating. I could go get a Walking... Actually... Changed mind. Walking Ballista in case it's Thalia. Let's play to an out. Gotta play to your outs, right? All right, Lean and Arbor, give me the land off the top. Give me the land. Do they attack? No. Never. Okay. Let's go up this turn. And let's pass. Lean and Arbiter is a pain if they have Ghost Quarter here. <clears throat> I have the Sabrade. Probably going to have to hit the Giver here. Hoping for Stoneforge Mystic. Can't believe I'm asking for that. This is why I put Dark Steals. Well, maybe we'll have to, Zale. Finally, I'll cave in and get some Dark Steals in the side. Ugh, they're gonna hit me for two here. All right, I have to let that go. I need them to play something instead of using Field. That'll do. This is two damage. Okay, so here, a Braid Giver with the idea of top deck land is is this. If not, Walking Blister to defend. Fear for the Field of the Ruin with this. I need that top deck land. I did not hit it. Hmm. Is there anything on that I want to go get here? I could go get another Worm Coil and or a Walking Ballista. I could get the bridge. I had to run into the Thalia deck and, and have no lands, right? That's that's the name of the game here. I suppose I'm not saving Karn, so let's go ahead and pick something that I want to get here. Probably don't mind a future bridge. So let's just cast in Karn here. For bridge. I'm not going to play Walking Ballista because they just field me and take me off of the land and because I'm already hurting for lands. It's, this doesn't feel like the right play. It's going to hit me for what appears to be four. Maybe they can play something and I can get this Kozlik's return? I'd even take an Oriok Champion at this point. Okay, I'm I'm kind of okay with this. They flicker a planes here. All right, I'm I'm okay with that. Ah, we get a torp orb. Where's my land? All 
I got F6 one more time here. I need a land here to be able to cause Luke's return. They just play a land and they're going to have enough here for the Arbiter. They hit me for seven, puts me to nine. Land? We kept a two lander too, which is pretty common. Pretty common. I have to hit running lands here. It's gonna be rough. All right, walking ballista, go to the distance. Go the distance, please. <clears throat> Fields me. <laughs> Pays the cost of their own lean and arbiter here. Smart. Fields me. Can't do anything about it. This is not Grixis Titans. It's not. You feel betrayed? I can play that tomorrow. Skyclave. Alright, well. I take four here and then six, so it's ten. I hit my land. It's just too late. It's too late. They can even field it if they wanted to. Ah. Why? Why, taxes? Why? I guess I need to keep a few more lands. Kozlik's return looks like it would have been completely fine here. <clears throat> would have been completely fine. Some solid variants there. One, two, it's not a land. Three, one, two, three, four. We'd be on turn 11. Turn 12. Turn 12, I would have finally drawn my second land. I'd be 42 deep. 42 deep. What's going on? Wow. So both games just not finding the lands, apparently. Not finding the lands. This is where people would tell me, bump it up to 22, and then the next game will just flood. All right. Well, we're 2-1 going into our next match. And I'm just going to chalk that one up to variance a little bit there. Not typical to go 12 turns and draw only one or two lands. Time to go to 30 lands. What's funny is we have 21 lands and 9 ritual effects. So in a theory, we have 30 mana sources. 50% of the list is mana. We needed to draw almost 20 cards to find it. <clears throat> That's true, Uncle DB, you're right. The deck is kind of grouchy with us right now. We haven't played Red Prison in a little while. So it's probably angry at us. Let's mulligan this hand. Unknown opponent. They mulled a six. All right, I'll keep. What? Did I just say mulligan and then keep? Strange. Go to 30 lands, make sure a couple are Field of the Dead. Oh. So Red Prison, someone posted a, fee, a Red Prison-esque, more Red Control, Field of the Dead deck. Just makes me cry. What's up, Sherlock? How you doing? All right. We'll see if I can... Actually, we have more lands than we would have had from, what, seven turns in the last game? <laughs> All right. Breeding Pool, Steam Vents here. My opponent shocks in here. Looking pretty good for us. We'll just try to play Karn naturally on turn three. Right? That's what Tron does. Turn three Karn. We just work for it a little bit more. I a sense we've got some, some counter magic. I do like this season Pyromancer here. Let's go ahead and run that out. We'll get rid of a Braden Bridge. I like this to bait out a counter spell. I think the Karns are a little stronger here. Uh, my opponent could be a Euro matchup, they could be Omnath, they could be um, Rug Scapeshift. <laughs> be a couple things. There's a Remand. Thinking I need a Blood Moon. Should I have sided out the moons against the tax player? No. Not necessarily. 
So the tax player still plays Field of the Ruin. Um, they've had Silent Clearings and they have Ghost Quarters. And you don't want to get got by a, a Leonin Arbiter because our mana is a bit tighter, but usually not that, that rough. All right, some Steam Vents, Breeding Pools. We have a Scalding Tarn here. Basic Forest, yours in the yard. Got a Chalice here. Go ahead and retry Season Pyromancer here. Again, getting rid of a Braid. And I might get rid of Pia Kirin now. Try to get two Karns. Two Karns is probably greedy. Let's do one Karn. We do hit a land. Two, three, four. Let's, let's pass the turn. Bridge looking okay. Karn wouldn't be bad to get down as well. My opponent's not afraid of apparently Blood Moon. <clears throat> Fetching basically all non basics. Flame slashes season pyromancer. That's it's fine. One, two, three. Three cards plus Uro. How's everyone doing, by the way? We have a nice crowd here. It's great to see you all. Happy to be here. All right, let's go combat. Let's lead with bridge here, because I think this could bait out a counter spell, then Karn down to get a uh, Tormod's Crypt to eat the, the graveyard. Waiting for dishes to be done so I can start dinner lunch preps. I'm just busy sorting all my Commander Legends stuff. Nice. Commander Legends. All right, my opponent was not interested in that counter, so let's go ahead and land a Pia Kira next. What we're trying to do here is create a board state that could beat a Euro. Also trying to eventually get a counter spell out of my opponent's hand because I think Karn is our, our victory here. They do counter with an Arc Mage Charm. One, two, three, four. Fetchland will get this. Fetchland will get this back. Teamer, huh? We even talked about this the other day with uh, someone I was chatting to. So how am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I had some back things going on the other day, which was kind of rough on Friday. We played that cool Titan list, Grave Titan. Um, I didn't get any recordings done. On call for work's not been too bad, but still been there. So I haven't had a lot of time to do that. Yeah, I think it's been decent on the whole. We have a Ruins played here. Interesting. All right. One, two, three, four. Let's see if Karn can stick here. I don't think it will. Snapcaster into what? Archmage Charm here? Just to straight counter it? After this, I might try to just slap a, a Chalice on three and pray that I never needed Blood Moon. <laughs> This gets one less card out of here. I'm actually not going to attack. I don't want Snapcaster to be in the yard. Is that, is that a thing I don't want? Hmm. One, two, three. Four. Fetch would be five. What if it's a cryptic command? That'd be awful. Let's attack. I don't care about that green blue. I don't care about this green blue guy. Look at that. They don't even block. They don't even block. It's got to be a cryptic command somewhere over there. We're just going to take the two here. I don't want to burn a Simeon Spirit Guide to stop a, a, a Snapcaster from attacking. It's uh, not worth the two damage. Simeon Spirit Guy could be useful later. Flame Slash is an elemental. One, two, three, four cards. Two cards in hand. 
Where are we going, opponent? What's next? Lightning Bolt's me. Alright, now we can play the big titan. This would be the turn to draw a Blood Moon. I'll draw a card here. Graveyard will be empty for the most part. I gotta get around my bridge. See if they play a land here. Chalice on four. They do play a land. Chalice on four kind of stops some of the things that I can do. Hmm. See the Pyromancer to draw more cards. I could see some Pyromancer try to hit a Blood Moon. X Doctor Slump, what's up? Resubbing for four months. Thank you all for coming back. Many of you are returning. Thank you. Let's grab my channel emotes here. Wow. Thank you, thank you. Let's get some love in the chat. All right, I'm thinking suspend, or not suspend, Exile Simian Spirit Guide. That'll give me six total mana. Um, this is the turn to try to get a Blood Moon down, so Season Pyromancer kind of digs me towards that. Why not? Give it a shot. Chalice is really just not that strong. I could put Chalice on zero, but I doubt that's hitting anything. All right. We're a turn off from playing the Scavenger Grounds, unfortunately. But hey. It's all right. I didn't even know we were gone. We were gone? Did I say we were gone? Maybe I said we were gone. All right, basic island fetched here. Nothing really changed there other than they've now untapped and now Blood Moon is going to be harder to land. Three mana. Recycling a Triome. Okay. I have six damage here with the Scavenger Grounds and Ramionaut Ruins. I expect no attacks. Land go opponent. The longer this goes, the worse for us. We need to be able to slap down a Blood Moon. There's a Misty. Bolts me. All right, maybe Chalice on one would be pretty good against the teamer list. Misty Rainforest. Can't be Mystic Sanctuary. There's no way. Let's see what they want. I want the Grow Spiral back. I'll pop this. I don't need the Season Pyromancer in the yard. I'd rather them not draw an extra card here, so they just get the one off the top. They don't get to go kind of too deep. I guess the Gross Spiral would be on top, though. Plays new Euro. Gets to draw a card. Sending old Euro back to the bin. Sends new Euro. Heh. <laughs> That's right, you were just... You were just sacrificed, because, well... That's how it works. It'd be funny if they sent this one, because then they'd they'd both die. All right, what else are we doing, opponent? You drew a card. You're paying some green mana. It's a lot of a lot of green and blue mana. It's a rug scape shift. Blood Moon's gonna be fantastic. All right, rug scape shift. Rug scape shift sporting bolts. Good old days, going back to 2012. Validating, and I want to see what they have. They'll have a Triome. I want to see if they have two Valakuts. I think they will. It's great. I will say, as soon as I saw this card spoiled, I was like, maybe that'll push Scape Shift back. Because everyone was doing that green Titan stuff. All right. I respect you, opponent. I'm sure you'll target correctly. So, we like bridges here. Realistically, we're pretty close to just set up perfectly for this matchup. Um, I can ditch in a braid here for a Chandra for the most part. But realistically, maybe like Chalice in for one other a braid. But we're basically set up. We've got, we got the Blood Moon package, so that's what we're going to do. You told me Chalice on 4 was good? Yeah, well, I was only at, what, six, seven mana there? I, I guess we should have put it on four. If we put it on four, we can't win that game. Just saying. 
Maybe I get them to concede, but putting it on four, we lose as well. We'll make it. We'll make it happen, Ice Man. We'll we'll make it Matt, happen. We're well situated. I'm sure Force of Negation will be our only threat card. We'll see how it goes. Mm -mm. We're on our way back up to our 100 subscribers. We eclipsed that there in November, beginning of November, actually into October, I guess a little bit too. See if we can get back there in December. Let's play first. Well, we can play a four drop pretty fast, but no Blood Moons and Sweltering Suns is our weakest card in this matchup. Some Mulligan. All right, we got a Blood Moon and three four drops. That's not very good either. Let's mulligan this. One lander. Goodbye. One lander again. Am I going to three? I am. One, two, three. I want to play this. I want to play this. I'm going to rip a land off the top. It's going to be beautiful. I'm going to rip a land off the top. And the Blood Sun's not even the best Blood Moon we have. Here we go. Here we go. Just a Triumph to beat. Nice land. Nice. Oh, they have tap lands too. Land me. That'll work. That'll work. It's a redraw, that's why we're doing this. Blood Sun? No force? It's just Blood Sun. Yeah. Land. Oh, the better one showed up, the better Blood Moon. Uh... Awkward, deck is awkward. Three mana, Euro. Maybe they'll put a fetch land into play. Nope, nope. Why would they play fetch lands? That's silly. That's silly. Land me. Land me. Land, land, land. Give me that land. One time. Oh. Try again. Is this meaning I'm going to have to run the list back again? Double down on the league today? This isn't good. <laughs> this isn't good at all. Oh, they're fate sealing me. Ah, uh, they, oh, they put it on top. It's it's a non land. <laughs> oh, da, 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 da. I think we're gonna be going two two into the next uh, next match. Oh, they topped it again. They don't even have double green right now. Nice blood moons. Nice blood moons. By the way, these are two natural islands, so they'd have the Jace anyway. Am I done? On top again? Oh, they put it on bottom. It was probably a land. Oh, they put all the basics. Got all the basics. Simeon Spirit Guy, there's a land. There's a few lands. I don't think I'm beating Jace ult, though. Not beating J Salt. 2 2. Great start. Falling off the train here. Let's go for our final match of this league and then we'll see where we're at. Do I know what could be good against all these four drop win conditions? Lands? That's two matches in a row where the lands just don't show up. Run it back? We're 2 2. So you're saying I should drop? I should drop and just run it back. Maybe we'll make one or two changes. You should draw your entire deck to see what they bottomed. <laughs> I'm not that interested. It was likely a land. 
I would I would be I'd be willing to bet it's a land. You want you want to bet me a, a sub it's a land? <laughs> All right, we found our next one. And that match is gone. Poof, we'll never know. All right, let's play first. Keep. Nice hand. All right, here we go. This is how you play magic. Raymond not ruins, desperate ritual, blood moon or magasum. Let's see what you're doing, opponent. Creeping tar pit. All right, first up, blood moon. Good luck. Good luck, opponent. I kind of just want to slam all the Blood Moon effects out. Gobbledygook power. Gobbledygook power. Put a Magus down next. Go ahead. We'll see if they have Bolt at all. Might even play Blood Moon next. Uh-oh. Basic Island has been found. Never mind. Season Pyromancer trying to find our land for Koth. And let's end this game fast. We do find the land. Go ahead, opponent. Not attacking with Magus because I don't want them to block this with a sim, uh, with a Snapcaster Mage here. I would much rather have both Blood Moon effects. Extra Island for our opponent. Gonna slam Koth here. Still gonna slam Koth even though Pia Kirin showed up. Let's see if this is a counter spell. Blood Sun is in here. Trying it out. All right, let's go. Combat. And swing, 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 swing. Damage. I've only seen the card used with Lotus Field. What does it do in this deck? Uh, it acts as a way to prevent things from our opponents. Exactly how it reads. Mystical Teachings. Are you playing Blue Black Grave Titan? They found an extra island. We're playing more magic here. I want to know if they're playing Blue Black Grape Tide. We'll come back to that. All right. Looks like we're going to um, let's float a mana here. Go to combat. Apparently, we're just getting to smash with everything here. I'm cool with smashing with everything since they didn't use cryptic. Opponent ops. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now they can't cryptic. We're snapping. We're snapping. They're opting. Blocking. Play Blood Sun next, because why not? So my opponent has to deal with the Koth here, and they have to deal with the creatures. I'm not sure how they get out of this. Yeah, we're running essentially eight Blood Moons right now. We're running essentially eight Blood Moons. Blood Moons, Blood Suns, and Maguses. You're seeing it all right here. Cryptic command at upkeep here. Bounce this. Tap these down. Replay. Swing with the. We'll swing with the scavenger grounds. They don't. Emblem. But where's Alpine Moon? Should we just put that in the sideboard? Call it Nine Moon. My opponent doesn't like this. Hmm. Fancy you are. Fancy. It looks like they get one more turn here. My opponent gets one more turn. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, we'll do that again. Chandra can come in here. Uh, this can drop one of Braid. Mm, yeah, I'm good. Submit. 
Stops what? A creeping tar pit? We saw that. It's kind of cool. Stops fetches. Where's the bad moon? It's in black. So you're telling me that I should play black creatures, Rakdos prison, blood moons, bad moons, alpine moons. Where's alpine sun? I'm waiting for one of you to be like, where's the wheel of sun and moon? It's really, that's really the question you should be asking. All right, we'll keep this opening hand here. Have a quick chalice and or Magus of the Moon on turn two. Watery Grave here. Thought Seize Inquisition. Looks good. Moon Pies. Moon Pies on stream. <laughs> you all are losing your minds. You're losing your minds. Takes a chalice here. All right, well, I don't do anything on turn one, but I can do stuff on turn two. Do I get to, opponent? Basic island. Hmm, well, I'll go for it. Magus, counter, season pyromancer. Remand, all right, we're gonna re replay Magus probably. Opponent remands our Magus of the Moon. Inquisitions away the Magus of the Moon. Okay. Basic Island, what else? Mystic Sanctuary, interesting. Hmm. I bet tokens are a problem for them. Let's go ahead and play this down and I'm gonna get one token, but I'm also gonna get rid of the cough and leave myself with Pia Kieran Alar. <clears throat> I think Pia Kirin and a singleton token here. My opponent's probably spot removal. They don't know that I just picked up a blood moon. Doesn't have cryptic right now. Snapcaster into Inquisition here. So they get to take blood moon. They don't get to take Pia Kirin. Pia Kirin gets through a force of negation as well. Looking pretty strong here. Just slap this down, obviously. And go to combat and swing with the team. Looking strong. When I splash for Wheel of Sun and Moon, then you'll say it? So you're telling me I should just put a Wheel of Sun and Moon in sideboard and see what happens? Oh. They got me. This is totally the Grave Titan list. This is totally the Grave Titan list. So we're going to bring back the Season Pyromancer tokens. Not using Simeon Spirit Guide because I could just... Cast Simeon Spirit Guide. Extra land for my opponent. This is totally, this is totally the Grave Titan list. You all know it is. They go up here and they put it on top. I get a land. Play Simeon Spirit Guide and I'll attack two elementals here. Jace is a small problem for us. We need to clear that. This is all the cards that were in that Grave Titan list. If you haven't seen our Grave Titan list, go check out YouTube. Here, I'll even get the I'll even get the the link for you, so you don't even have to. Sh share. How do I share this? I can't even figure out my own YouTube. Share, copy link. Bam. You should. If you like what my opponent's doing, and you're like, what's this Grave Titan Fluffy keeps talking about? There you go. Enjoy. There you go. We lost 50% of our viewers because Grave Titan's more exciting than Simeon Spirit Guide. All right, combat here. Try to kill Jace. Ah, yes. It's true, Uncle DB. You can also do deck, and it's the first one there. I got it still queued up. What are we doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Cryptic command, return tap. So this is cryptic lock here. I think at this point, I'm pretty good at just conceding and moving to the next one so we can get another full league in later today. So the reason this is a full lock for the most part is because now they just play, they can brainstorm, they repeat, 
brainstorm and they're getting some extra cards. So let's move along and uh, just submit. Uh, let's play first. No, this isn't going to do it, is it? Need to have three lands. Planeswalker could resolve after combat. They would probably have like 10 more cards in their hand. Let's mulligan this. All right, we'll keep this. And we'll try for that Planeswalker plan here. Turn to Blood Moon and or turn to Chalice. Both seem nice. So yeah, so Planeswalker could resolve af before com or after combat. To me, I just don't think that's going to really do much for us because they have the Creeping Tar Pit. They're going to be getting lands. All that's just going to be kind of coming together for them. Let's go for the Blood Moon here. I don't think they'll have like a Spell Pierce. I'm hoping they don't. Basic Island. Resolves, all right. <clears throat> Spreading seas their own creeping tar pit. I love it. I love it. All right, let's slap down a Chalice on one for the future. Hoping to get to the Chandra. My opponent does have double blue. This is definitely the Grave Titan list. It has to be. It had Spreading Seas in it. Land me? Hmm. Cycle. Go ahead, opponent. Was looking for a land there. Didn't hit. It's all good. I'm gonna slap down a Season Pyromancer here. I think I want to still keep the Chandra. I think she's better than Karn, and I have I have a lot more I have a lot more Karns in the list. So let's go ahead and ditch those two. Put some pressure on the board here. We do have double blue. Mystical teachings gets an Aether Gust, so we're going to be able to bounce Blood Moon. Just depends when they want to do this. They'll use this watery grave. And this island to do that, and then they can fetch Polluted Basic Swamp. They have one in the list. Since when does Etron play Karn Liberated and Ugin? I think they've been playing it for a while, KC. I've been running Snowlands in my prison list for Frostwalk Bastion and Scrying Sheets. Nifty. Go to combat here. I'm not a big, big person on the. I'm not a big person on the snow lands. Playing Chandra here. I will put it on top. I presume they're going to do this to the Blood Moon to unlock some of their mana here. Chandra's an interesting play here, though, because if they have trouble beating this, even with the cards that they have. <clears throat> I will go up for mana, by the way, not to go uptick, because if they do this, I'll skip over my Blood Moon. So mana here to play bridge. And the bridge may seem a little odd because I have a 2-2, two -two, but really we are for the most part tokens. So Aether Gust here at end step, more than likely Blood Moon on top. And I will put it on top here because it does kind of mess with my opponent's mana a little bit. I'm expecting a counter. We have a Mystic Sanctuary here. They go ahead and put the Aether Gust back on top. So they still have this. So we'll get to replay. All right, so we have Blood Moon here. So the question is, do I want to... We have no fetch here. It's really tempting to go up here with Chandra and see what else I hit. I could also go combat first. Let's go combat first, because they have triple uh, triple blue right now. They don't have double black. 
Risking a little bit here, they could counter or tap and bounce Chandra. Let's go up for damage. Find ourselves a Simeon Spirit Guide. Say no. We'll play Blood Moon back down. We know they put the Aether Gust on top. Blood Moon shuts down these three cards. So if they wait, they can just Aether Gust it anyway. Trying to give them enough threats to have to deal with. Hoping that I can get Chandra all the way up to seven in Emblem. If not, they've got to deal with the tokens and the uh, Season Pyromancer here. Again, we could have held Blood Moon, but I think then they're just like going to be able to bounce Chandra and then they have way too much mana open. This and having put this on top makes me think that they needed this to interact with our red permanents. So this is why we're, we're, we're putting this out. But we don't know what they have. They have seven cards. I agree. Force them to play it. I don't need them to get to this mana. I don't need them to put a Jace easily out without consequences here. I need them to struggle. Casting something here. All right, they return the Chandra. And they counter the Blood Moon. So we know they have an Aether Gust. Totally fine right now. If they do have a Fetch Land, they do get to get the Cryptic Command back. I'm going to be hitting them for four before attempting to play Chandra. Chalice is an interesting one. Could try to put that on two. <laughs> Let's go combat. It's kind of interesting because they've shut down their own Creeping Tar Pit. They do have double black now. I am thinking Chalice on two might actually be worth it because then this blanks the Aether Gust. I don't have much else on two that I care about and stopping this is not bad. If they go to put this on top or something. All right, we're just gonna snap caster block here. Snapcaster targeting Cryptic Command. All right. Block away. I'm going to go ahead and put this Chalice on too. That stops this in the future. Yeah. With the Snapcaster now, they know about this Chandra. This is a dead card unless they have a different counter spell. So I'm forcing the other counter spell out. I'm forcing a snap caster out. This is looking really good now. All right, Aether Gust. So one dead card, three, three, four cards that we don't know about. <clears throat> we can attack with elementals here. We have the Season Pyromancer in the yard for future. And we get it. We lock them out. Chalice on two does enough. We go three, two overall with the red prison list. Sporting eight moons here in modern. What do we like? What do we don't? Um, I think it's playing well. Uh, the taxes matchup, I think, should be a better matchup for us. And so knowing that, perhaps keeping a few more lands would be nice. Kozlik's return would be very good there. Walking Blitz is okay. I think... I kind of want one more Anger of the Gods. So if we run this a second time here, which probably is going to happen, but for YouTube folks, we cut it, you know, per league. I think I would add an Anger. I really do. And I know I'm playing the Torp Orbs. But I'm playing the Torp Orbs so that I can Torp Orb and Bridge and Lock Out. And so I need more like removal, I think, for that matchup. Uh, Blood Sun didn't really come in too, too often. Didn't really impact our opponents too much. I think I want to try running it again, though, with only the change of probably an anger in the sideboard or like a slagstorm or sweltering suns. Um, chalice board 
didn't really go get it at all. And then Graph Digger's Cage was a complete blank. That's gonna happen from time to time. You're gonna run into five lists and you're just not going to run into something that's, it's, you know, don't immediately take out your graveyard hate because then you're gonna run into Dredge. I like the list. I kind of like the Koth. Um, kind of tempted to take Koth out though. Slap the Chandra in main, put an extra anger either in the sideboard tempted to take a blood sun out but i want to give blood sun one more run here um i see an alpine moon suggestion not quite on that trip yet <clears throat> not not quite there for that it's a cool one it's a cool one but but we're not we're, i like blood sun i like blood sun I could see taking one land and putting it in for a Blood Sun because we had trouble with that. It's not gonna be a thing. It's not gonna be a thing. Let's go. Let's do it again. But we'll cut it here for YouTube. That was League One here. Red Prison in Modern.